so hi everyone today we would be looking at the concept of leader election why it is important how it works and how you can implement that in system design so for that we will take a class uh, classroom analogy you know just imagine that there is a class of students there are a lot of students in this class and they need to like you have one student here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now they need to select a class representative so the representative here what whoever the representative is going to be is responsible for conveying the class thoughts to the teacher so this is the teacher now if for some reason the representative is absent the class needs to select another one suppose for now this is the representative so this person let's say the name is josh reports to the teacher and tells everything to, to the teacher okay this is the problem we are facing but one day josh is absent now in that case arjun takes over from there and reports to the teacher so this is the concept of basically leader election this process of selecting a representative is analogous to leader election in the distributed systems and system design so let's look at what are the steps that are uh, involved in this now let's imagine any students who wants to be representative raises their hand suppose this particular guy wants to be representative so it raises its hand now selecting the leader the students like the all these students who are not the leader all these students you know decide among themselves who will be the representative and on the basis of their decision who raise their hand first or any other criteria they select it select it so for now they have selected him now acknowledging the leader once this representative has been chosen let's say the name is josh now once a representative is chosen every student acknowledges and knows who to go when they have something to convey to the teacher suppose this guy has some problem it would cool to him this guy has some problem this guy has some problem anyone who has the problem needs to go to josh only so josh has been selected as the class lead now re-election if the representative is absent suppose josh is absent today now in that case the class again undergoes the same process to select a new one same thing applies to the distributed systems and system design no the on the concept changes uh, in a bit of way such that you have the concept of nodes you have the concept of nodes and leader this is the concept now in distributed systems you you know you have let's say this is some third party service and this is the let's say database and these are the servers one two three four now obviously third party service is going to uh, ask to the ser uh, servers and then server is going to ask to database and then database is going to give, give back something it is going to return to the server something like this now just imagine for now everything was being handled by this server but if this server dies who is going to be the next leader in distributed servers we have multiple nodes here you can see we have multiple nodes only one node act as the leader at a given time you know responsible for coordinating task just like the class representative now when it comes to announcing the candidacy nodes in the system are up for the leader position you know by announcing their candidacy now selecting the leader there, there are multiple algorithms you know if this person if this node take over as the leader there is some algorithm working in the back end that okay this node is going to be the next leader similarly for this node similarly for this node so there is a particular uh, algorithm on the basis of which everything is decided so we can look at the algorithm like how it works it doesn't matter but we need to know so c o n s n s u s so this is known as consensus algorithm so yes so this is the whole concept like this is a type of you know complex algorithm that you know has multiple entities in that agree on a single data value like the leader here like the leader here uh is amongst a group of machines so there are a lot of popular algorithms when it comes to consensus algorithm but let's talk about two of them we will talk about two, uh, two of them you guys can go and search their name on google they are very famous uh, the algorithm names are paxos Paxos and Raft. Paxos and Raft. Now these two consensus algorithms that when implemented correctly 
you know allow for the synchronization of certain operations even in a distributed setting just like we saw here just like we saw here how to select that this particular node is going to be the next leader this particular algorithm is defined in paxos and raft now you don't only have these you have already talked about two to three like, like you have etcd etcd then you have zoo, zookeeper zookeeper now etcd you know is a strongly consistent and highly available key value store that's often also used to implement you know leader election in a system same thing for etcd now when it comes to zookeeper uh, it is also a strongly consistent highly available key value store but it is also often used to you know implement an important configuration to perform leader election it has the algorithms inside it so this is the whole concept of leader election why it is important and how it works so you guys can go and study about it on the web why leader election is actually used in the distributed system and how it is important if you guys want to know in detail how in the backend algorithms act but for the sake of system design distributed systems this is enough so thank you and have a nice day